Hey, hey, good monkeys. Ever dreamed of having a PhD level genius at your back? Well, OpenAI might just have the solution for the low, low price of a small car every single month. We're talking about the new rumored OpenAI PhD level AI agents. Apparently, Silicon Valley think that virtual PhDs are worth more than actual PhDs. So what does PhD level agent even mean in the wild west of AI? Well, according to the information, OpenAI is cooking up some specialized AI agent. These digital brains will be able to tackle problems that usually require years and years of specialized training. Think of advanced research, writing code that's not spaghetti, analyzing large amount of data. They're even talking about different years. You get your high income knowledge worker assistant for a cool 2000 a month, a software developer agent for 10,000 a month, and the bees de logistions, the PhD level researcher guru clocking at whopping 20 grand. I'm starting to think my current degree was a terrible investment. Now, OpenAI isn't just pulling this number out of thin air. Well, maybe they are, but they claim based on the benchmark test that their O1 and O3 series model have apparently aced science coding and math test even scoring high on something called humanity last exam, which it sounds extremely terrifying. This model used something called private chain of thoughts. It's like an AI has an internal monologue working through problems step by step before spitting out the final answer. The more time and the more money, of course, you throw at it, the better the answer supposedly get. Basically, you're paying for AI to think really, really, really hard. But here is the catch. This model is still hallucinating. They make stuff up. We're talking about something called confabulation. Fancy word for saying they generate plausible sound but completely false information for 20k a month. You're expecting perfection, but no, you will get AI barred fake news. And before we forget, as many people will point out at social media, you could literally hire a real PhD student for a fraction of this cost. They might need coffee and sometimes they need a break and sleep, but they won't randomly invent facts. So is a PhD level AI is just a marketing gimmick? Probably yes. Their models are really powerful. No doubt, but they're not replacing the human level PhD worker at any time soon. Plus, OpenAI actually lost 5 billions last year and it need to make some money. One last thing about this crazy AI agent sharing might be is the key. Forget the one person paying the 20k per month, imagine a whole company using it. We will split this 20k between say 50 people, that's 400 each. And even better if it's 1000 people, it's only $20. Sure, there will be some figuring out to do, like who get to use it and when, but it could be a game changer for some companies. So is sharing is the correct answer or it is still too much to pay for? But hey, at least this AI won't need health insurance or complain about their student loans and they will keep getting better. So who know, maybe one day, we will have our own affordable PhD level AI assistant. Until then, stick to Google and Sing and using OpenAI source model and let's hope for the best. And let me know what you think in the comments. Are this AI agent actually worth the hype and the price tag? If you had 20K a month, would you actually spend it on an AI or you know, a really nice vacation? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the coming one. Peace.